Thanks for joining me on another episode. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about Infrared and uh, a whole range of products that they've uh, they brought out into the UK uh, and currently available at uh, Scott Country International. Uh, we're looking at thermal images and rifle scopes from them, but uh, but they have a whole range of stuff that they make as well. So if you haven't heard of Infrared before, they've been around uh, since 2010, uh, and they've been they're based in China and they've been making products since 2010. Uh, lots of stuff in the medical field and, and sort of industrial fields uh, and then uh, more I think more recently branched out into the the sporting element of it as well so in terms of uh, infrared uh, technology themselves they've got two R&D centers in China uh, and they provide products uh, for industrial measurements night driving uh, fire protection, consumer electronics, sporting, society, security, surveillance, you name it, they, they do the lot. Uh, so they do they do know what they're doing and they've been around long enough to know how to get it right as well. Infrared tell, tell us that they are uh, leaders in uh, innovation in the thermal world. So um, they, they are using a 12 micron sensor for the vast majority, if not all of their thermal imaging products where a 70 micron sensor has been pretty much the industry standard for quite a long time. Um, they do uh, have a, an understanding of um, the, the needs of uh, hunters and things like that. So, uh, and, and you can tell that when you actually use their products, you can tell that they understand what it is that, that you guys want uh, and they put it into the products and it, and it all just works really nicely. I've produced a series of reviews on the products that, uh, that I've been sent by Scott Country International to review. Uh, and those products are the, uh, the i2 uh, range of thermal imager so I've got two of those I've got an E3 Max and an E6 Pro uh, version 2 I've also got this little thing here this is the infrared finder RH25 is a 25 mil uh, lens with a th laser rangefinder built into it but it's got a 640 by 512 sensor so this little thing is packing a punch if you believe me in terms of rifle scopes uh, we've got this one here which is the uh, the tube um, which is like a day scope 30 mil uh, tube uh, that just mounts to a rifle but it is in fact a thermal rifle scope uh, and then we've got uh, what I must say is my personal favorite uh, the Rico RH50 uh, thermal rifle scope with uh, with Picatinny rail uh, now this one uh, has the ability to add a, a laser rangefinder to the attached Picatinny rail on the side here uh, which then communicates with the scope itself uh, and it also has a 640 by 512 sensor. The image quality on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. It is brilliant. Um, so in terms of um, what I've done with, with these products, I've taken them all out, I've used them out in the field, I've, uh, I've zeroed the rifle scopes, I've been out shooting with them, I've, I've tried to get as much footage as possible of, of foxes and rabbits, uh, and, and yeah, hopefully um, you'll see in the reviews that I've done that uh, that these products are absolutely fantastic. So in terms of the uh, product range available in the UK at Scott Country International, these are pretty much the products that are available plus the laser range finder for the Rico uh, and a couple of other eye version uh, thermal images. Um, however, the product range uh, infrared is absolutely massive. They make so many different products and it will blow your mind looking at the different models and what they all do and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I've had a really good time using these products. I'm going to be sad to see them go, actually, because there's some really, really fantastic products here. Uh, and Infrared uh, are definitely one to watch, definitely one to keep on your radar and check out when you get the opportunity. So let me talk you through uh, these these products individually as we go. And then if you want to find out more about them, you can check out the, the individual reviews. So starting with the Tube. This is the Tube. TL35, let me just get that there. This is the Tube TL35 thermal rifle scope. So it's a 30 mil uh, tubed uh, thermal scope that attaches uh, to normal scope rings and then onto your rifle. So it features a 35 mil uh, lens here um, and then obviously working backwards, we've got our focus ring. Uh, we've got three turrets here. So, so this one here is a USB connection behind there. And then we've got space for an 18500 battery there, should we need it. And then our menu uh, system turret there. 
Uh, it does have the ability to add a battery, but it also uh, has a built-in battery with uh, with like up to 15 hours runtime on it as well. And then towards the back here, we've got some uh, some also additional function buttons: so power, photo, uh, brightness, and uh, and a palette button, so you can change different color palettes. So, uh, in terms of color palettes, uh, you've got black hot, white hot, um, color. You've got uh, uh, hot spot tracking as well so where you've got a really hot object it will draw a little red box around it and it will it will follow that around that is uh, is the same across all the different uh, products other than the finder which also has a uh, an iron bow uh, color as well which is like a pink red purple type color uh, so that's the tube we've got the i version 2 images uh, so these are um, this one here is a 640 by 512 so that's the e6 Pro 640 sensor and then the E3 V2 um, that one's got a 384 by 288 sensor um, really they look fairly simple uh, from the outside but actually they, they've got a lot of functionality and picture in picture um, they've got Wi-Fi all sorts of really good stuff going on in there um, we've also got the the finder um, which is uh, one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time really small um, thermal imager with a laser rangefinder but that 640 by 512 sensor utterly ridiculous the image quality is fantastic your ability to identify quarry at range really really good with this one finally we've got the Rico thermal rifle scope uh, which has got um, which is absolutely fantastic in terms of its own image quality uh, it's got a 50 mil lens at the front here uh, behind this uh, we've got a uh, focus dial at the front also all our menu buttons our control buttons are here uh, so it makes it really easy they're really uh, responsive buttons as well so you know you know when they've been pressed um, and then you've got diopter adjustment and then on this side we've got uh, our picatinny rail for the laser rangefinder should we want it plus a USB-C socket too uh, this does include um, this does actually have a removable battery pack uh, which if I just pop that out there um, so that's uh, that is the battery pack that uh, that comes with the device it actually comes with two of these and they run about six hours each so you've got plenty of time um, on on the clock to use uh, should you want to and it just pops in like that and then you just twist the uh, that handle there to put it back in place uh, one of the other things that it comes with that I absolutely love is uh, is this mount um, so this uh, this quick detach mount here uh, this comes with the uh, package uh, and is included uh, and quite often you don't get um, a quick detach mount in fact I can't remember the last time I saw a quick detach mount included in a uh, in a package uh, and it is really really good uh, requires a bit of adjustment to get it set up when you put it on but once it's once it's on once it's there uh, then just popping it off is as easy as literally push, pushing these buttons uh, which will then effectively uh, push these catches back and then you can open them up, take the mount off, and then when you want to put it back on, just click them shut, just like that. Really straightforward, um, and one of the uh, one of the best image quality on a thermal rifle scope I've seen uh, to date. So if if you're interested in finding out more about any of these products, then go and check out the individual product reviews. Infrared is definitely a company to watch, and uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot more about them in due course. So. Thanks for watching um, and I uh, hope you see you on some of the other review videos. Take care. See ya.